So Ableton, like most software, has a log file. And the log file is where it will say if something goes wrong, or it basically will say everything that it's doing. So um, for Ableton, the location of that file is in your user library, preferences, Ableton, and then choose the Ableton version that you're using. And then you find this file, log.txt. If you open that, you can see a whole, a whole bunch of things probably. Um, this is everything that it sort of does. So here, um, it's telling me that I messed up with some sysx messages. Um, I've made some mistakes in some controller scripts, um, some mini remote scripts. Um, it says here that it gets something that it doesn't recognize. So when we start to work with this and with the text files, um, Cliffix very nicely write to this um, log text file as well. So if something goes wrong, we can see it here. Now, um, in order for this to refresh, we need to actually close it and then open it again, which can be a bit annoying. So I use the terminal for that in Mac, which if you don't know it, is in utilities and then terminal somewhere there, or you can use uh, Spotlight. Um, and in order, in order for us to monitor that file inside the terminal, we can type, and this is just a small trick on the side, we can uh, type tail and then, uh, that what is that, hyphen, and then a capital F, it's important that it's a capital, and then we just drag that file into the console, into the terminal, and then when you hit enter, you can see that file, and now it's being, now it's being monitored. So whenever I close Ableton, for example, um, it says that it's giving me this message box, then it says everything that it does when it closes. So um, often the best way to check if something is working is start up Ableton, because that's when it will decompile all the Python files. So I see that there's some mistake in some of my Python files. So whenever something goes wrong, uh, it will post it in there. And it can be very useful because not only, well, let's take a look at one of these errors. Um, so this is a very, very typical script error. I have a script which Ableton tried to compile and it, it didn't do that for multiple reasons. But the, the good thing is it will, it will tell you in which line that happens. Um, so here, for example, this is maybe even a better example. The thing I just typed in the um, in the Cliffix file, that sysx message, that isn't a, a valid message. I made some mistake there, probably this uh, comma on the end. So with this we can we can sort of see where we made our mistake in, in which line it is. So we'll say line 27 in this file. Um, it's it's always the last error that it throws because before that, like after that, everything else goes wrong as well. But if it if, if it goes wrong here, like if it says it's in a Cliffix file that's like a macro midi bad midi rec dot py, um, that's never the case. It's it's always in in on your end, um, and that's why the macro bad Cliffix file doesn't work. Um, so just take a look at the last error, and you can change it there and. Um, Experiment a bit, like changing from capitals to lowercase, um, removing any spelling spelling errors because the the tiniest little thing uh, you do wrong will will cause these errors, right? So just want to point that out, and that can be very useful for me. It has been very useful in making my own remote scripts. So I hope you learned a, a thing or two from this short series. Um, there's a lot more I could have talked about, um, but I. I hope at least this, this gets you going. Um, if you have any questions or you, you have a specific problem, you can always contact me and I will, um, I will help you out from there. All right, thank you for watching.